What's up everybody, I hope you're all doing great uh, because in the next few minutes we'll do a quick price prediction and price analysis on the DAR token um, or basically the main token used in the Mines of Dalarnia game um, was relatively trending, not well it was bullish but not necessarily trending in price but definitely trending in volume, almost up 300% which is great for it um, so yeah, Mines of Dalarnia is a crypto game I think it's one of the better ones and I mean if you look at the whole spectrum they actually have a game which is already um, <clears throat> which is already quite big um, so yeah let's do actually do a quick technical analysis I mean the the not so nice part is that most of these um, in-game tokens are quite inflationary I mean you need that because you need to mint a lot of tokens for a play to earn game um, <clears throat> and definitely in the beginning of games they seem to be uh, very inflationary it doesn't show that much inflation if you look at it this way but still um, I believe it is um, so yeah at least we are in a downtrend and we actually drop down all the way to 65 cents so now it kind of sh looks like we have a channel going on I mean this upper bound isn't necessarily settled yet um, but yeah, oh, before we get into the technical analysis, two quick disclaimers. First one, this is not financial advice. Uh, and second of all, this whole analysis is based upon the assumption that we remain in relatively stable markets. Um, so yeah, if any big fundamental event or something happens, then please forget about the analysis. And uh, so I initially did, uh, I initially thought that this would be an, the analysis. So we were a little bit more bull bearish then. This was like an hour ago. Um, and I thought we would drop down to 77 cents somewhere around that maybe take another break retest off of either 82 cents or in the most bullish case scenario 86 cents but I'd say that inevitably we would be dropping down to uh, 72 cents I do think we will find support right there so 72 70 cents that that region and I do think we will go up again to uh, the regions of 86 cents again from there um, and that's the most interesting part because the, the the main technical cataclyst we need to have is breaking that 86 cents area as you can see we, we we've always struggled with it here we broke it i know but it was only with the wicks uh, and then found enough resistance at the 100 ema um <clears throat> so i don't count that as a break we need a clean break and as soon as that happens uh we can go up with the first price target being one dollar which I think uh, is a quite conservative price target for, for the type of breakout it is, but it's needed in these uh, type of markets filled with fear and stuff uh, to set conservative price targets. I mean, after a while, we'll probably be looking at like 1.12, 1.15. And as I said, that's a little bit too far ahead. Um, so I think as of right now, that's the most likely scenario, but just because the price is quite bullish now already, I just wanted to include that if it does that right now, so if we break that 86 cents right now, we close at around uh, 92, 93 cents. So that's the main thing. We need to close above it on the four hour time frame um, <clears throat> would be the best. And then I also think we can just take a break retest off of that 84, 80 cent, 86 cents area and go up to $1. Same price target. Uh, <clears throat> I do think from that $1, then we would definitely fall again to at least 86 cents. Uh, but still, it would be great for, for like the... the I mean semi semi long term mid term uh, prospects of uh, mines of the Larnia or at least a DAR token. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's uh, the scenario I wanted to highlight. But that's basically my analysis on DAR. Uh, if you do have any questions about the analysis, then please let me know down in the comments as always, and I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. But as for now, thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.